think rationally about inheritance tax Tuesday, 8th of October 2024. Okay, so we have rumours that the upcoming budget 2025 that's going to be tabled on 18th of October will feature five new taxes, uh, not one, but five new taxes. And among the taxes that is hotly debated is this inheritance tax. So what is this inheritance tax? Let's look. So it's the estate and inheritance tax. Uh. Actually, I also didn't know that Malaysia has an inheritance tax uh, and was repealed back in 1991. So now there are rumours that it's going to come back again. So what are these taxes? Let's have a look. Estate and inheritance taxes are broadly similar because both are generally triggered by death. Estate taxes are levied on net value of property owned by deceased person on the date of their demise. In contrast, inheritance tax are levied on recipients of the property. So, estate taxes means the person is already deceased. Say on that day the person deceased, the property, not just talking about physical property, eh, all the whole thing, property, stocks, um, car, whatever, like cash in the bank, everything. Let's just say it's 1 million. So then it's that 1 million, okay? The house, maybe they appreciated, but last time buy 100,000. Then when deceased, when passed away, the house become 500,000, example, okay? So that is the, so for whole, the whole estate will be taxed by this inheritance tax, okay? Next one is inheritance tax is like, I levy on the recipients of property. Parents want to pass to children. Let's just say parents has a business or parents has a property, uh, cash, want to pass to children. Uh, that one also get taxed. Uh, but I don't I don't think it's cash is involved, but correct me if I'm wrong. I know that in property lah, you can just use say property because now from parents transfer to children, uh, the stamp duty is exempted, okay, and there's no inheritance tax to levy on it. But in future, maybe they have, okay? Inheritance tax, let's say you want to pass the property to your children. The uh, one the property worth one million, your children need to pay the taxes first before the transfer will be approved. That's what it means, okay? Additionally, the asset inherited consists of unrealized capital gains that have never been taxed, which can be taxed under the inheritance tax. This is really going to be complicated. Imagine you hold a share of the company, and the share actually goes up so high. You didn't sell a share, but if you, let's just say today you want to pass down to your children, you will still get tax. Same like property, like you didn't sell the property, right? You, you sell or didn't sell, you sell, they pass, you pass cash and maybe you can avoid it there like, for property. But let's just say today you got a lot of property, you want to pass down to your children, your children need to pay that in taxes first before the property can transfer to your children, okay? So you all can continue reading the article on what is this expert actually mentioned about the implications of inheritance tax if we were to come back. For me, right, um, I think it's a very good time uh, for property investors uh, to actually look at your portfolio. Uh, we talk about property here, okay? So we just talk about property. Look at your portfolio. Maybe some of the properties uh, you don't want to keep or some of the properties you've been thinking, and hey, maybe I need to sell this property lah. It's already appreciated, or it's already like, uh, getting you know, too many already. My commitments, uh, cost of living is so increased. Whatever reason you are thinking, uh, or maybe I already fully fully paid example, then I want to upgrade. Maybe I should sell now. It's a good time for you to take a look into your portfolio and see what kind of properties you really want to keep. Huh? Maybe there are some properties already old that you want to sell. Uh, maybe some properties that you already appreciated considerably and you want to sell. Uh, so you want to upgrade, maybe you want to sell. So it's a, to me, it's a good time to re-evaluate your portfolio and rebalance your portfolio, whether it's stocks or property, but we're going to refer to property here, okay? For real estate agents, ah, now this is going to be interesting, right? Whatever I've shared just now for investors, for property investors, you can also suggest to them. Because most of these property investors, right, they have a lot of assets, but their cash flow sucks on most of them. Ah, their cash flow is bad, okay? 
So cash flow is the real king. Uh, you got so much asset but no cash flow, you still are going to suffer. Okay? So perhaps you can suggest to them. You can go back to your your customers. I'm sure you know your customers well. Those who have many, many properties, ask them whether they want to look into rebalancing their portfolio, meaning sell uh, and appoint you as agent. Oh, that's it. Uh, so you go and check the market value for them, uh, everything, and then advise uh, whether to sell or not, uh, which one to sell, which one to keep your advice. Oh, uh. Whether the inheritance tax uh, will come to pass or not, I don't know. Okay? It could be just like rumors and then there's facing too, op too many oppositions. And then when it comes to budget, there's no inheritance tax. It could be. Uh, but what I want to share with you as a in property investor is that it's a good time for you to look into your portfolio. It's always a good time to look into your portfolio. It doesn't mean that it's doing well, rented out, everything are good. You take things for granted that it will be always good. Okay? Uh, and real estate agents, this is how you actually like keep in touch with the market and also service your clients. You could you need to think about what is this implication to your clients. And then when your clients get it. so real estate agents also like after you you reach out at least the clients know that you actually care and this is how you can actually be added value compared to other agents uh, other, you actually keep abreast with the news and think about how the news will affect them uh, you know your client better okay so that's all for me this is Kenny here from Property Stories and I'll see you again next video bye bye